What is up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now I wanted to make some basic videos to help new players with Dominion 6. The game's very complicated, it can be unintuitive at times. And you know, I just want to make them short, sweet, to the point, and give people an idea of the basics of the game. I'm no means a pro, I'm not the best, there may be mistakes, there may be errors, but generally these videos are going to be quick and helpful for players that want to learn the game and not sit down and watch really long videos or do a lot of studying or read a 500 page manual. So first video I'm going to do right now is I'm going to talk about the basics of a turn, the steps, the main steps you need to do every turn to make sure you're progressing and just taking care of everything for your nation, for your faction. So one of the first things you want to do when you spawn into the game and every turn, <laughs> identify if you have a scout. If you have a scout, and the, you know you'll you can find out if you have a scout because it'll it'll tell you you'll know. Uh, you want to move your scout and explore the map. So that's first thing. Second thing, make sure you have you know your priests, and when you do have a priest, make sure they become your prophet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna recruit. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna recruit a guy real quick. We're not gonna do anything. We're gonna get we're gonna get our, our priest here, who's also a mage, but it's all different with factions. So okay, so we got our priest on this province. There they are. Now at, you need to do this as quickly as you can. You don't have to do it necessarily right at turn one or two, maybe even turn three, but do it really soon, as soon as you can. Click a priest, hit spacebar. Spacebar gives you all the options that a unit can do when you have them highlighted. And you're gonna want them to become your prophet. You can have one prophet. And the prophet, what they do is they will spread dominion like the pretender god that you have, but at a slower rate. So all priests can also, you know, preach and spread dominion, but it's not nearly as quick as your prophet. So you definitely want to get a prophet ASAP and then have them start preaching, and that'll help you. Basically, once your prophet cannot preach in a, in a territory any longer or a province, you're going to move them to a different province or move them into a province that's not in your dominion. In case you don't know, your dominion is the gold little line. That's your dominion, so that's how you handle that. Now, third step every turn is to recruit. Always be recruiting. Uh, it's something you can easily forget. Generally, you're going to want to recruit from your capital, but you can recruit from any province. You just highlight the province and hit R or click the little recruit button on the menu. And my advice for people that are new in recruiting is you got to kind of look at the units, look at the cost of the unit, look what the unit does, read what it does. Every nation is totally different. So there's no really like, oh, this one size fits all. But the one thing I can say is when it comes to like melee commanders, like these guys for this nation in particular, well, I guess these guys are like sacred or not sacred, but you know, priests. But these commanders here, you're not going to want to make a lot of them. I mean, yeah, you can have a couple, but what you're going to make mostly are mages because you're going to want to be researching. So anybody that has capable capability of magic, the magic schools, they're going to be a mage and you're going to want to, you know, pop them out, get them on research duty, and get them doing things for your nation. Because without them researching, you're not going to be able to research new spells and new magic and all that stuff. So I would prioritize making the majority of your commanders mages at first. You know, throwing in, you know, leaders as needed. But that's how I would recommend that. And then when it comes to your units, you know, you got to kind of figure that out on your own what works. But always be recruiting is the rule. Every turn, check your recruitment, make sure you're recruiting. Try to spend all your recruitment points if you can. Some you might not always be able to. So you're recruiting, you get your prophet and your priest going, you got your scouts. Next, you hit F5. This is the research section. You can queue up research. I would queue up, you know, all the research you need, whatever you're doing, might as well. You know, figure out what your plan is, but make sure this is always going because if there's no research queued and you have mages conducting research, they're not doing anything. So research, get that going. And when you do have a mage, we're going to do another, I'm going to do one more turn here to show you real quick. But when you do have a mage and you conquer territory, you're going to realize that they are, here's our prophet. We tell them to preach the teachings of God. Now, there are two options here, search for magic sites and then auto. When you conquer a new territory, you wanna search for magic sites. And the reason why you wanna do this, and I recommend just doing auto, is because you need gems. And gems are required to function in the game. Gems are required to do a lot of the spells and a lot of the casting. So like ritual magic, all these kind of things, they all use gems. Higher tier spells, higher tier rituals, they use more gems. But when you find magic sites, you will get gems that are tied to that site. 
As you can see on my current province, I have Frozen Lands, which is a magic site. I get one cold production per turn. So you're going to want to go in the provinces and find these. And the chances of you finding these is based on the magic level of who's doing it. So if I were to send this mage with one nature magic, they're only going to be able to find sites that are level one nature, which is pretty low. So I would need like a level three or a four nature mage to possibly find better nature sites. So just because you took a guy to a site that was like level one or two and you didn't find anything doesn't mean there's no sites there. They just lack the magical capability to locate it. So make sure you do pay attention to that and go back through, which is why they have the auto search. So you don't have to manually do it, which is an awesome quality of life thing they added in Dominion 6. Just do auto search with your highest mage and have them make sure you got all the sites. And that is it. That is the main, I would say the main five things you need to do every turn. There's other little things like, you know, maybe make sure you build a fort, you know, on your front line or whatever and stuff. But like every turn, you're going to do these five things. You're going to move your scouts. You're going to, you know, make sure you're preaching with your priests or whoever, you, whatever, however many you need for that. You don't really need too many. You just have your prophet mostly do it generally. Then you're going to make sure you're always recruiting. You're going to make sure you got research queued and you're researching. Make sure your mages are on research if they're not looking for sites. And then you're going to want to make sure the mages are looking for sites if you haven't done that already. Now, if you're not expanding that much or you're not, then you don't really need to look for sites because all the sites are located in your capital already. So until you start really expanding and getting new territory, you're not going to be spamming like, you know, site searching that much. But those are the main things every turn, like I said. And I know this video, it's pretty quick compared to a lot of other videos, and it's not, like, perfect. I'm sure I missed things and I said some things wrong. But hopefully this gives new players an idea of what to do on a turn-by-turn -turn basis just so they can get their feet wet and, like, make sure, okay, this is what I'm doing. Because this game isn't like other games like Civilization and stuff where they remind you, hey, you didn't do this do this turn. Hey, you didn't do that this turn. The only thing the game will remind you if you turn it on in the options menu is, hey, you didn't activate this commander. They're not doing anything. So that is nice that that's there, at least to remind you about making sure your commanders are doing stuff. But that doesn't cover everything. It will remind you if you don't have research, too. So that's nice. But if you guys get any questions or comments, let me know down below. I'd be glad to help anybody out. And I do want to continue this series. I want to make, you know, quite a few more guides, and they're all going to be relatively short and go over more of the basics of the game. But let me know what you guys think, if it was helpful, if it wasn't helpful. You know, let me know. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.